I want to study now structure of a seed. So presently you can see over there that the seed has a hard covering. This is the hard covering of the seed. So this hard covering, it protects the seed from being damaged. I have taken a bean seed which I have soaked for a few days and it has swollen up and it has become soft. I have removed the seed coat. Now what you can see in front of you is that I have spread the bean seed and you can see these two are the seed leaves or the cotyledons. The function of cotyledons is that it contains all the food supply for the baby plant. The seeds with two cotyledons will be called as dicot and seed with a single cotyledon will be called as a monocot seed. Now when we open the cotyledons, we can see a baby plant inside it. You can see here the baby plant. This is the embryo. This embryo has a shoot and a root. The shoot later on grows above the ground into the stem and the roots spread under the ground. Now we are going to study the difference between dicotyledonous and monocotyledonous. Di means two cotyledons. The seeds with two cotyledons are called dicotyledonous or dicot seeds. Example is kidney beans, chickpea, etc. Here I have shown an example of chickpea where you can see that it has two cotyledons. Now we have to study about monocotyledonous. So mono means single. So seeds with only one cotyledon is called monocotyledonous or monocot seed. Example is maize and jowar. Here I have shown you the example of jowar seeds which have only single cotyledon. Kids, up till now we have studied the structure of seed. Now we are going to study germination of seed. For that, we have to perform an activity. So, take three transparent bowls. Put a piece of woolen cloth in two bowls, then a piece of cotton in bowl A, B and C and then put some seeds on it. So now you can see the experimental setup which I have shown. So in bowl A, we have a piece of cotton, a piece of cotton, a piece of woolen cloth below and some seeds on it. But you are not going to put any water in bowl A. You are not going to put any water in bowl A. Now in bowl B, there is a piece of wool. There is a piece of cotton. There are some seeds. And you have to put water on the cotton in such a way that the cotton remains wet all the time. In bowl C, you have to put a piece of cotton, some seeds and lot of water in it. Keep this experimental setup for two days away. And after two days, observe what happens. So I have done this experiment and I have kept these all bowels two days away. And after two days, what I have observed is that in bowel B, this. So I have done this experiment and I have kept these all bowels two days away. And after two days, what I have observed is that in bowel B, the seeds have germinated. It means that only ripe and healthy seeds which get all the favorable conditions grow into a new plant. So the definition of germination is it is the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or seedling in the presence of water, air and warmth. So air is needed by the seed to breed. Warmth makes the seed active and water softens the seed coat so that the baby plant can break it and open and come out. It is absorbed by the food inside the seed to nourish the embryo. So in bowl A, if you see, in bowl A, we didn't provide any water so the seeds could not germinate. While in bowl C, as the piece of woolen cloth was missing, there was no warmth provided to those seeds so they could not germinate. While in bowel B, we have provided all the three conditions that is proper warmth, proper air, or air and proper water so the seeds could germinate in bowel B. If any one condition is missing, the seeds will not germinate.